Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss full counter propagation net with simple solved example. This is the solved example number one. A link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a full counter propagation net as shown in this figure. The input pair x is uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, and y is equal to 1, 0. So that is what you can notice uh, from this figure. And we need to map this input uh, input pair to one of the clusters, either to Z1 or Z2 in this case. We need to find the activation of this uh, cluster units uh, using the learning rate alpha is equal to beta is equal to 0.2 over here. So as said earlier, the input pair x is equal to 1 triple 0 and y is equal to 1 0. The learning rate is uh, alpha is equal to beta is equal to 0.2. The initial weights are also given in the figure. The initial weight between uh, input x and the cluster units is uh, for with respect to cluster unit z1, the weights are 0 0.6. You uh, can see this one is 0 0.6, this is 0 0.4, and this is 0 0.4 here. So that is what I have written in this particular column. With respect to z2, the weights are 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0 0.6. That is what I have written in the second column. Similarly, the weights between the input uh, y and the cluster units is, you can see here uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 with respect to Z1 and with respect to Z2, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 I have written over here. Now, what we need to do is, uh, we need to calculate the square of the Euclidean distance uh, using this uh, formula and then we need to calculate the distance of this input pair to these uh, cluster units. Based on the distance, we can map these uh, uh, input pairs to one of these uh, clusters here. Now, how to calculate the Euclidean distance? This is the formula to calculate the Euclidean distance. D of uh, 1 is equal to summation of i is equal to 1 to 4 uh, because we have 4 components in the x uh, uh, input pair. So, that's the reason I have taken 4 here. xi minus phi i1 bracket square. So, xi is the input, phi i is the weight from xi to zi in this case plus summation of k is equal to 1 to 2. I have taken 2 because uh, there are uh, 2 uh, components are there in y input. So, that is the reason I have taken 2 here. yk minus wk1 bracket square. yk is the input and wk1 is the weight associated with respect to input in this case. Now, uh, we need to expand this equation uh, with respect to i and uh, k here. Once you expand it, it looks something like this. This will become uh, x1 minus wv11 bracket square. This one is x2 uh, minus v21 bracket square. Similarly, x3 v31 bracket square, x4 v41 bracket square. That is uh, this uh, first component. Second component is k will go from 1 to 2. So, that is the reason it will become uh, y1 minus w11 bracket square, y2 minus w21 bracket square. So, all these values are present uh, in this net as well as in, in this uh, uh, initial weights. So, we need to put all those particular values. Once you put the values over here, you will get D1 is equal to 1.34 in this case. Similarly, we need to calculate the Euclidean distance to the second cluster unit that is Z2. That is nothing but D2 here. The same equation I am using. Only a difference in this case is uh, here we can see the V I2 we have taken and W K2 we have taken. In the previous case, it was V I1 and W K1 here. Again, we need to expand this equation and then put the values. You will get D2 is equal to 1.74 here. Now, D1 is 1.34 and D2 is equal to 1.74. Between D1 and D2, D1 is a minimum here. The meaning of this one is the input pair is assigned to the cluster unit uh, uh, 1 here. That is nothing but J is equal to 1 here. Now, once uh, we have assigned the input pair to this uh, cluster unit, we need to update uh, the weights associated with respect to the current uh, cluster here, that is uh, Z1 cluster. So, this uh, weight we need to update as well as this weight we need to update here. Now, if you want to update these particular weights, uh, we need to use this equation phi ij new is equal to phi ij old plus alpha xi minus phi ij old here. Now, uh, what is this particular j? j is the cluster in it. In this case, j is equal to 1 here. So, I will expand it. It will become v11. Uh, uh, I will take uh, any value in the range of uh, 1 to 4 here. j is equal to 1. That is fixed. 
So first I have taken i is equal to 1, j is equal to 1 here. Similarly here i is equal to 1, j is equal to 1. Here i is equal to 1. Again i and j is equal to 1 here. Now once I put all these values, you can see here phi 110. What is the value here? 0 0.6. And alpha is already given to us that is 0 0.2. X1 is 1 here and uh, uh, V11 old is again 0 0.6. Once you solve it, you will get 0 0.68. Now what we need to do? We need to expand, uh, increase the value of I here. In, in, here I have taken 1. Now I have to take 2 here. So once I take 2, it will become uh, V21 new is equal to V21 old plus alpha x2 minus v21 old here. Again, we need to put the values. You will get 0 0.48 as the answer here. v31 new is equal to 0 0.32. v41 new is equal to 0 0.32 again here. Now, we need to replace these uh, old values with respect to, to the new values. Uh, v11 is 0 0.68. Uh, v21 is 0 0.48. v31 is 0 0.32. v41 is 0 0.32. Similarly, we need to update the weights with respect to the y unit also. So, that uh, can be done uh, with this equation. Wkj nu is equal to Wkj old plus beta yk minus Wkj old. In this case, the value of j is already known to us. That is equal to 1. And the value of k will go from 1 to 2 because there are two components are there in y input. So, initially it will take 1. So, if I take the value of k is equal to 1 and j is equal to 1, the equation will become something like this. w11 nu is equal to w110 or you can say that the old plus uh, beta y1 minus w11 old here. What is w11 old? w11 old is equal to 0.5. So, that is what I have written here. What is the value of beta? Beta is equal, beta is equal to 0.2 in this case. That is uh, the learning rate. And uh, what is the value of uh, this y1? y1 is equal to 0.1 and w11 old is equal to 0.5. Once I solve this equation, I will get 0.6 here. Similarly, I need to put the value of k is equal to 2. Once I put the value of k is equal to 2 and j is equal to 1, the equation will become uh, w21 new is equal to w21 old beta y2 minus w21 old here w21 old is equal to 0.5, beta is 0 0.2, y2 is equal to, uh, here you can say that 0, and w21 old is equal to 0 0.5 here. Once I solve this equation, I will get 0 0.4 as the answer here. Now, uh, what I did is, uh, I have updated the weights with respect to y input, w11 new is equal to 0 0.6, w21 new is equal to 0 0.4 here. Now, what I need to do is, I need to replace uh, the old weights with respect to Z1 or the first cluster uh, with respect to the new weights here. Uh, this is this column I need to replace with new weights and this column I need to replace with new weights here. I have calculated these weights as well as these weights. Once I replace it, they will look something like this. So, these are the updated weights once I map the input the pair to one of the cluster here. So, in a full counter propagation net, first we need to map the given input pair to one of the cluster and the weight associated with that uh, cluster need to be modified using the given formulas here. I hope the concept of uh, full counter propagation net is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.